Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Al, and it is one of the most wonderful times of the month, Sheetload of Cards Day. I hope you'll stick around, see what the April 2023 Sheetload looks like, see my first set, and find out how you can download it for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. On the first of each month, I stop by with the brand new sheet load of cards, and that is what I'm here to do today. Little spoiler alert, it involves 6x6 six six paper and no pattern paper scraps will be left over. Today I will also be showing you the first set I made and then I'll tell you how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Then don't forget to stop by again tomorrow where I will share my process how I created the first set and my team of collaborators will be sharing their videos here on YouTube and their posts over on Instagram. Now, if you're not yet subscribed or follow them, everybody is linked in that description box below. I know that they would love for you to stop by and click on that subscribe or that follow button. Are you ready to see this month's sheet load? Here's a look at this month's sketch. To get this layout, I actually cut up my paper first and then figured out how I could make a card layout from that. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't a bit of that six by six left over. As always on the first page, I'm gonna give you the supplies needed and you are only gonna need two pieces of six by six pattern paper to yield those six cards. You're also going to need some cardstock for the matting and the sentiments. Now this number is a little bit unique. It says one and a quarter plus and that's because for the matting you need a full sheet and a scrap and then for your sentiments a quarter sheet is going to be all that you'll need. So again that would be a good one for scraps as well. For our card bases you'll need three sheets of eight and a half by eleven that you cut in half and then fold in half. And then if you like the layout, but maybe you want to use some scraps or you don't want to make six complete cards, I do give you the single card dimensions and they just tell you how big each of these pieces should be. And don't forget about my alternative ideas, either by popping pieces up, changing the size of the sentiment piece, maybe you want to rotate the sketch, make sheet load a good jumping off point for you and make the cards your own. Before we move on to page two, I did just want to remind you that if you're going to show us your sheet load, there are a few different ways to do that. You can send in a card for the end of the month video, or you can use the hashtags at the top and either share here on YouTube or over on Instagram. We always love to see what you're creating. Now for more information on how to show us your sheet load, I do have a video linked in that description box below and my P.O. Box address is always down there as well. Page two of the printable has our cutting guides and you'll see here it's going to take up every little speck of that six by six paper. You're going to cut both of your six by sixes according to that and then here I show you how to cut your cardstock for the mat and for the sentiments. Now you can always adjust the size of the sentiments or maybe you want to use a die cut. Totally up to you but I do show you how you can cut that from just a quarter sheet of a paper. Why don't we take a look at the main supplies I used for this month and then I'll show you my first set. Before we look at those supplies I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to my newest paper trimmer level members, Teresa Wire and Carrie Gavito. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. You keep me creating here on YouTube and sheetload of cards free for all subscribers. Channel membership is a great way to show your favorite creators that you appreciate what they do. Here on my channel, I have membership starting as low as $1.99 a month. 
you can check out the join button below this video or I do have a link in the description box to find out more about the perks and levels. Probably the most favorite perk, which does start at the $1.99 level, is the Sheetload Visual Archive. You can see it up on screen now, and what it is is thumbnails of each month's sheetload with a direct link to download it. So if you're looking for past issues, you don't have to go back and watch all of the videos to find out the links and passwords. You have this one-stop shop as long as you are a member. And now let's take a look at those supplies. Last week, my friend Danny gifted me with this adorable kitty cat stamp set from Craft and Kimmy. And I just knew that I had to use it for the April 2023 sheet load of cards. So to pair with it, I looked through my six by six paper pads and found playful pets by die cuts with a view. How perfect was that? I pre-chose two pieces, the little kitty cat heads with yarn balls and the fun orange gingham to go with it. Who doesn't love a gingham, right? Now, I'm not sure if the pattern paper is still available. If it is, I'll link it below. I do still think you can get the cute kitty cat set, which is called Mini Muse, and I will link that in the description box as well. Now, of course, tomorrow I'll be sharing other products like card stocks and coloring tools, and I'll tell you about those, but I just thought you might like to see what's going to be on these cards. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a look at my first set. I hope you enjoyed getting to see my first set of cards using the April 2023 sheet load of cards. You might have noticed a couple things I changed up. Instead of having kind of the leafy die cut that shows on the printable, I replaced it with a vellum circle and a colored and die cut little kitty cat. Also, to help the sentiment stand out from the background paper, I cut the same flag in the orange matte color, and that also helped me use up some of those cardstock scraps I had left over from when I cut my mats. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. If you're interested in downloading and using the April 2023 Sheetload of Cards printable, as always, it is free to subscribers. Now we do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you email me any proof or sign up for anything. Please make sure before you click on the link to download, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute, that you have already clicked on that subscribe button below. It's free, it's quick, and it's easy. You're going to find this month's PDF file in the description box right above where I list my team members' names. Now below that it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can download it to your device and just use it on your screen, or you can download it and print it like I have here. If you're excited to download the April 2023 sheet load, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. And until tomorrow, where I'll be back to show you how I created my cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.